University has been hailed as the top university in the world for five years running. But what of its many colleges? Though the university sets the exams and awards the degrees, the colleges are where the students eat, sleep, play and pray and have their all-important tutorials. So, which of the 39 colleges are top of the tops? Rob's Oxford gives you the lowdown. Hi, Rob Walters here. Do you know what the most popular question that I'm asked when I'm doing tours of Oxford? You might be able to guess. It's this. What's the top college? Now, it's a very difficult question. I'm in top in what way? But there is an answer. One answer, actually. There is a table. The Norrington table. Uh, Sir Arthur Norrington didn't invent the table. In fact, back in 1962, when he was then the president of Trinity College, he wrote to the Times newspaper suggesting some weightings that should be applied to each examination result. Nowadays, those weightings have changed somewhat. They are five for a first, three for a two one, two for a two two, and one for a third. Those are then applied to the results for a college, summed together, divided by five times the number of students and converted to a percentage. And that's the Norrington weighting. Now, you should realize that this is an independent weighting, independent of the colleges, that is, because the exams in Oxford University are set by the university, not the colleges. And they're marked by the university and rated by the university. So there's a degree of independence there. Yes, the Norrington table results are published annually, of course, but I'm going to take the years right the way through from 2006 to 2019 and base what I, my little competition here on the averages across those years. And the results are, in reverse order of course, as follows. Da -da! And in third place with 74.65% is New College. New College is not new, but it was back in 1379 when it was founded by William of Wycombe. It's a particularly interesting college because historically it is said to be the first with all the elements of an Oxford College in its main quad. That is the dining hall, the chapel, of course, the accommodation and the library. A couple of famous people from there, people who were undergraduates and graduated. Number one, John Foles, the famous writer, one of my favourites, and Hugh Grant, the actor. And in second place, with 75.42%, is Magdalen College. Magdalen College founded in 1458 by William of Wainfleet. One of the many interesting characteristics of this college is its tower. Stands right out overlooking Magdalen Bridge and if you come to there on May the 1st you will see that the choir get up right to the top very early in the morning to sing in the summer beginning the May Day celebrations in Oxford. A couple of famous graduates, people who have been undergraduates and graduated from this college are Oscar Wilde and Andrew Lloyd Webber. And so we come to the top college of all and the Norrington table averaged over the years 2006 to 2019 and that college is Merton College, founded back in 1264 by Walter de Merton, making it the third oldest college of all of the colleges of Oxford. One outstanding characteristic of this particular college is its quad, the original quad, small one, but the oldest quad in Oxford, 
mob quad. And in that quad is a wonderful medieval library. To pick up on a couple of people uh, who are very well known from this college, who studied here as undergraduates and, and graduated from here. One is Chris Christofferson, a Rhodes Scholar in fact, became many things in later life, but uh, quite well known as a singer. And the other one is Andrew Wiles, a mathematician. Quite nice to finish on a mathematician. He's the man who cracked Fermat's last theorem. And if you want to know more about that, go to Wikipedia. Right, so there we have it. If anyone ever asks you what are the top three colleges in Oxford, you can tell them. Merton, Magdalen, and New College. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like it, then like it. And please join the channel, Rob's, Rob's Oxford. Come back for more. There will be more coming soon. Bye.